Now it's Willian. That's why ahead of him. Four more by Tapazzoli. Lost his cheek. Fabregas. And then the eventual hit is a really good one from Chaloba and Pedro. Finds the top corner and Chelsea lead. Well, it's been chance after chance pretty much since kickoff, but it's the Blues who strike first, and it's Pedro who grabs his fifth of the season. Well, it's certainly a quality goal from Pedro. Certainly comes from a misplaced pass originally from Michael Smith, and then they get them on the counter attack. Again, Willian improvising the ball on the edge of the box. They defend it well. We just need a little bit of luck from Blue McGee. I think he needs to parry that wide up. Take nothing away from the composed finish from Pedro. Cuts inside Chris Forrest up. Thinking he's going to shoot with his left. Cuts it back onto his right. Strikes it into the top corner. Chelsea one up. Against Charlton. Literally ran from his own half and, and ran through the Charlton defence. Space here for Ivanovic. Four up in this attack. That's why. 2-0, two, two minutes before half-time. Clinical finish from Mishi Batshuayi for his fourth goal in the blue of Chelsea. Terrible time for Peterborough to concede. But Chelsea have the lead they thoroughly deserve. Well, it's certainly an Achilles heel. You can just see when the ball's played in there. It's three on two, four now. Chelsea players joining in. No real support there for Lou McGee to really do anything about stopping the goal. Loftus cheek, the awareness, the unselfishness to put Bashuayi to strike it into the goal. You're just coming into half time. You need yellow shirts to really be back defending, not gambling to try and get another goal just before half time. You see it out. They don't do that. They leave themselves so open at the back. And again on the counter attack, Chelsea have been absolutely ruthless. Well, he has six goals in his last seven starts for Marseille and Chelsea. Has more. Is Pedro. Willian. Worth a go from there, surely. It certainly is. Super strike. 3 0 Chelsea. And that surely put Chelsea's name into the hat for round four. Another fine finish. Well, it's certainly clinical for Willian. The time and space he gets when he, the ball gets played back to him from Pedro. Again, this counter-attack that they've done today has been superb. You look at Michael Boswick, as I mentioned earlier, not a natural centre-half. It's when the ball gets cut back, he needs to get out a lot quicker. Can't afford to allow that time and space for William to cut inside on his right foot and just delicately puts it past Luke McGee into the bottom corner. Sixth goal of the season for last year's player of the season. Well, we've seen uh, more animated reactions to a goal from Conte than that this season. But uh, enough on it. And Forrester brings it away. And he's found Angol, who's gone over John. Well, Ivanovic could be the man covering. That saves him not getting a red card. It is a red card. Oh, that's horrendous for John Terry. A wry smile. From the Blues captain. Midway through the second half, Antonio Conte's side down to 10 men. Kevin Friend gave himself a lot of thinking time there, but he's decided that that is an obvious goal scoring opportunity. I was just wondering if Vanovic was enough, covering enough to stop this being a red card. I think Kevin Friend's made the right decision here. And goals got past him. And I don't think the cover from Ivanovic is enough not to warrant a red card for John Terry. Well, Peter will be thinking if we can pitch a goal. Angle is in there, and they have got a goal! He's put it in, the man who came on moments ago. Well, the ball in from that right side. Begovic beaten by Nichols. 
and the Peterborough fans have something to cheer about. And a little smile on the face of Barry Fry, who side were beaten 5-0 here in 2001. They're on the score sheet this time. We're well, certainly giving the away fans something to cheer about. Certainly plenty of space down that right-hand side. The give and go from Michael Smith runs in behind Pedro. And goal attacks in the near post. Doesn't get the connection. It actually works in Tom Nichols' favour. And he's in the right place at the right time to give the league lock sides just a glimmer of hope. His ninth goal of the season puts him level at the top of the Peterborough. Pedro. Well, they made a mess of clearing that, Peterborough. Aina. Pedro. That's why Pedro. Oh, brilliant. Well, that's how to eliminate any doubt whatsoever. Pedro with another glorious finish. He'll be thinking it should be a hat trick, really, when you consider what he missed. But that was another majestic finish from Chelsea. 4 1. Well, they've been absolutely sensational in front of goal. So clinical. That's why. I think he's onside there, he pins Tafazoli brilliantly, pulls it back to Pedro, and the calmness, you know, Williams' goal, just to place that into the bottom corner, he's Luke McGee without any chance of saving that, certainly the scoreline should be a lot more, and when they have hit the back of the net, they've hit the back of the net with real quality.